Okay, we're reading Surah 10, Ayah 37, that the Quran has no problems with the Bible. But my brother in humanity, Abbas, has problems with my Bible. Okay, let's go. Many problems. And this Quran is not such a, could have ever been invented in despite of Allah, but it is a confirmation of that which was before it, an exposition of which is decreed for the mankind. There's no doubt from the Lord of all the worlds. Tafsir, Ibn Abbas. This Quran which is recited to you by Muhammad is not such could ever be invented in the spite of Allah, but it's a confirmation of what was before it. It's a confirmation of the Torah, the Gospel, the Psalms, and all other scriptures in that they call to the profession of divine oneness and contain the traits and description of Muhammad. Can you read that last bit again? It is the confirmation of the Torah, the Gospel, the Psalms, and all other scriptures in that they call to the profession of divine oneness and contain the traits of description of Muhammad. Yeah, uh -huh. so it's clearly saying the Quran came to confirm what was before it. Yeah. Torah, Injil, Zabur, Psalms, and all other scriptures. Yeah. They profess divine oneness. Right. No, it doesn't say three gods. Divine oneness, yeah. And it clearly says that the Quran has no problems with it. And it's a confirmation. When you, have, when you open a new email address and it tells you to confirm a password, you have to type in the same password and put the same password in to confirm it. When the Quran says the Torah is a the Quran is a confirmation of what come before it, it must be the same message. But we're saying the Quran contradicts the, the Torah and the Injil. So basically, so your your Quran and the so basically has no you, problems. Basically, you implying since Quran says this is the confirmation of the scriptures <coughs> before, which is Torah, Zabur, Psalm, and, and all, all the scriptures. scriptures. Yeah, yeah. It's a confirmation of what came from God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that means whatever in the Bible right now is is con Quran is confirming that. That's Every, what the Quran says. In it. That's what uh, the no, Quran says. No, it's not. It's not. Your understanding is wrong. Okay, let's uh, read. It's my turn now. It's no, no, turn. no. Okay, you, go on. You oh. made, okay, carry on. Finish your point. No, no, because the Quran says here, and the Quran is not such as ever could have been invented in despite of Allah, but it's a confirmation of what was before it. Mm -hmm. So it's not my words, it's your Quran. No, no, your, that's what I'm saying, your implication is wrong. When you yeah, say God. Allah say Zabur, Psalm and Injil and all the scriptures which came from God, Quran is confirming that. Quran is not saying everything you have in your hand. That is Quran's confirming. One sec. What's in it from God, Quran is here to confirm that. How why I say this? We have to we have to analyze Quran, read as a uh, not in a contextual way. But uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, intertextual. Intertextually, you see the whole Quran no how problem. it's addressing the scriptures. The scriptures. The when, previous when, scriptures. Yeah, yeah. When we say chapter two, verse seventy-five to seventy-nine, you know, it says they had made written by their own yes, hands. They write it with their own hand, and they say it from God. That's or, not Torah in Hebrew. No? My, my, it's my turn. Yeah, yeah. It's my turn. It is. It's talking about children of Israel. No, if no, it, no. But you need to prove it. No, Okay, let's read it then. Yeah. It's not talking about Torah and Injil. It's talking about the Torah. It's here. talking about the Munafikins. I think this is this is the thing when when I made my point, you just I let you make your point. I didn't, no, make I, your I point. didn't say anything. Make your but point. When I'm I, I don't want to forget. When that, I'm that's making, no, no, you can, you can come back to me. Okay, I apologize. Okay. Abbas. That's right. Apologize. So we need to analyze the Quran as a whole, how it addresses the scripture. Mm -hmm. To that, then we analyze the verses came before that verse, chapter Yunus. Uh, came after chapter 2 and chapter 5. I'm going to go to chapter 5 as well. Actually, chapter, chapter 5 came after that, actually. So... Oh, Maida, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maida. Yeah. Maida, yeah. Chapter 79, uh, verse 7, sorry. Chapter 2, verse 79 is very clear. Woe then to those who write out the scripture with their own hands, and then in order to make a trifling gain, claim this is from Allah. Can we read the tafsir on that? Okay, I'm going to go Maududi. You want to go somewhere else? You can. You can open some. You can open Ibn Abbas then. Okay, these observations relate to the rabbis, to their rabbis. So who are the rabbis? Rabbis are the Jews, of course. This is the interpretation of 
Maududi. Maududi. Yeah, you Maldudi. can you can open Ibn Abbas if you want. I've got Ibn Abbas, yeah, but yeah, I think, that's I think Maududi is here because too. Because you said this is not talking about the Jews and the Christians. And the Tafid is telling you. No, I, I said this is not talking about the Torah and the Injil. That's what I'm saying to you. Yeah. So who are the what rabbis follow? Babylon and Talmud they, they, as well. So they don't follow the Torah, no? No, Torah and Babylon and yeah. Talmud as well. So this is this is talking. So about, how do you know the Torah? This, this is talking about the Torah because when you talk about the rabbis, you're talking about the Torah here. These observations. No, really, but do you really, believe that the rabbis believe in the Babylon and Talmud as well? They believe in everything, isn't it? They follow, exactly. They follow so everything. it's not just Torah. They believe in the Talmud too. So when, anyway, go. When he's talking about rabbis, he's talking about whatever rabbis follow. Allah is rejecting that. Okay. okay. These observations relate to their rabbis. They were not content with the misinterpretation, the word of God. They also interjected into it their readings of the scriptures and the explanatory comments thereof. Stories from their national history, superstitious ideas and fancies, philosophical doctrines and legal rules. The result was that the divine and the human became inextricably mixed. You understand what I'm saying? That the divine and the human become mixed. Brother Daniel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm just talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? That it's not Torah or Injil. You're not, listen, you're, you're not listening to me here. Yeah, I did he listen. Say, you didn't say anything Torah in, or Injil. He said in the scripture, the divine and the human become <coughs> mixed. Then Quran talks about it in chapter 5, verse 68. The Quran is the Muhaymin. 48, I think, verse 48. It's not 68. Quran, 68 actually goes against you. 548. 48 goes against you too. You have to read it from 43 to 48. Okay, let's, let's read it then. Listen, you're going, you're going to places where, I'm, I'm making where it's going to bury I'm, you. I'm, I'm making my point. Oh, well, you say these words, let's see. But when, you have to when, read it from 43. Quran, yeah? Look, that I, is the context. I am going to read what I'm, all, I'm, I'm going to read. Okay, yeah, it's fine. You can bring your case. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. No, no. So verse 48 is telling us, then we reveal the book to you with truth confirming whatever of the book was revealed before. Truth confirming whatever revealed before, meaning Quran is confirming what is from God. So it, what was before? What is from God? Quran is confirming. Look what it says. And protecting and guarding over it. So the Quran is a guard over the word of God. Chapter 2 verse 79 already tells us they have changed the words of God with their own hand and they say this is from God. So Quran is kind of a, what, what do you call it? Taking out the bad bits and confirming the right bits. That's what the Quran is talking about here. So, so, so well, finish, let me, yeah, let me, finish. and I'm going to also bring, so this is the point from verse 48. Now chapter 5 verse 13 and 14 also tells us they have forgotten the portion of it and they distorted it. Distorted mean corrupted it. They have forgotten and they distorted. Chapter 5, verse 13 and 14. So as a whole, if you look at the Quran, Quran is telling you clearly, these books cannot be trusted, only what Quran confirms. When Quran agrees with something, this is from God. And if it doesn't agree with something, it's not from God. And Ibn Abbas, you go to Ibn Abbas, isn't it? There's a hadith of Ibn Abbas. You know the hadith? About what? About you can't trust Torah and Injil. Do you know the hadith? No. Okay. Uh, can, can, we, can we stick with the Surah no, 5? Because first? the hadith comes Okay, from make, make your point. Make your point. Yeah. Because um, you said Ibn Abbas is not fully Ibn Abbas. So you're going to him now. No, when we go hadith, that's Ibn Abbas talking about. But tafsir is mixed with Ibn Abbas oh. and somebody else. You must understand that. Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, where you go? Um, I think it's, uh, let me see. I think it's Bukhari. One second. Okay. Until you find it, it's very clear that what he's saying, reading the Quran as a whole, actually contradicts itself. That's the problem. If you want to read the Quran as a whole, you're in trouble. Hey, here we are. Hadith is there. Yeah, in go on. Bukhari. 2685. Go and read it. And it says, narrated Ubaidullah bin Abdullah bin Utba, Ibn Abbas said, O Muslims, how do you ask the people of the scripture, though your book, that is the Quran, which was revealed to his prophet, is the most recent information from Allah? And you recite it. The book that has been that has not been distorted. Allah has revealed to you that the people of the scriptures have changed with their own hands what was revealed to them. And they have said, 
uh, as regards to this, uh, the change scripture. This is from Allah in order to get some worldly benefit. Ibn Abbas added, isn't it the knowledge revealed to you sufficient to prevent you from asking them? By Allah, I have never seen any one of them asking about what has been revealed to you. Ibn Abbas is warning Muslims. Why are you going to the scriptures when Allah has already warned you that they have changed with their own hands? So, and he's yeah. talking about Jews and Christians here. Okay. So, in a nutshell, we learn that Quran, or we understand the Quran confirms in your books, which is from God. And Quran also tells you which is not from God. No, it doesn't. Are, yes. It doesn't. It doesn't. Which part of the Injil and the Torah is not from God? Okay, from uh, in the beginning, when Quran disagrees with something, make make a statement against the Bible. That is can't, can't be from God. No, like no. The Bible. That's the, you, you're picking and choosing what you want. That's do you Okay. Do you have an original Torah and Injil? Allah is telling us they have forgotten and Injil, distorted it. No, because Injil and Torah are Allah's words according to Islam. Yeah. yeah. So do you have the original Injil and Torah uh, look, to compare with the one that's changed? Allah, How do you know it's changed? Okay. Anything. But that's what we say in, 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 the, in the Bible, in the uh, Torah, it says there is only one God. And Allah and Muslims say there is only one God. So we say that is from God. That confirms, Quran confirms that statement. But when the Bible says God has created the heavens and the earth in six days and he rested the seventh day, Quran clearly rejected it in chapter 50 verse 38. It says Allah has created heaven and earth in six days and no fatigue has touched him. Okay, so he rejected that statement so, that he rested on the seventh day. So this is how... So that's Allah's words though. This those is are Allah's words. Torah and Injil, the one you just said, those are Allah's words that you're rejecting. No, we are, not. We are rejecting what is interpolation. Quran rejected and I told you interpolation is that yeah. God rested the seventh so day. So Allah couldn't Allah protect his Allah. words. Okay, now you're going a different zone no, no, now. But it, it is Allah's words. Torah and Injil are his words. Okay. And you're saying they've changed his words, so we have to reject it. It's not that Allah doesn't, cannot protect his word. Allah give them the responsibility. I think that's also verse in the Quran. Let Allah, me read Allah it for Allah you. Allah has made rabbis yeah, responsible let, let, for that. I was going to read that for you. But Can I read it? Yes. We send down the Torah containing guidance and light. What's the prophets... 540, uh, 560, yeah? No, 544. Okay. We send down the Torah containing guidance and light. The prophets who submitted judged by it for the Jews. And so did the rabbis and the scribes as they were charged to preserve the book of Allah. Yes, right. They were charged. Yeah, not the God, book not, of Allah. It's not, Allah's book. Not God take a charge. He give no them. problem. The book of Allah. So they've changed the book of Allah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, the scriptures of God. Yes, they did. They changed the book of Allah. That's what Quran telling us. So what you're saying is they were charged to protect it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what charge means? They were charged were to protect it. Yeah, they were given response to protect it. Yeah. Allah's book. Yeah, God's book. That's and Allah's book got corrupted. Yeah, they did it. Yes. Okay. Yes. So if Allah's book got corrupted, why in the same scripture? Yeah. Surah 5, yeah. Ayah 68, yeah. which is the one you went to, but I think you don't know what that is. No, no, 48 oh, you I, went to, I went to 48. No, no, earlier oh, when I you just, said 68. I just mentioned 68. Okay, 68. Yeah. We can go to 68. When yeah. it says, O oh, people of the book, you don't stand on anything until you observe the Torah and the Injil and what was sent down to you from your Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Quran is saying to me, as a Christian, to the Jews, we can't stand on anything except for the Torah and the Injil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what the, Torah, the Quran the is saying. I'm going to read the words again, yeah? Yeah, read it. Yeah. Say to the people of the book, you have no solid ground to stand on unless you establish the Torah and the Gospel and all that had been revealed to you from your Lord. Mm. Indeed, the message revealed to you from your Lord will aggravate insurgents and unbelief in many of them. So, so do not, not grieve, grieve for those the faith who disbelieve. Yeah. Shall we go to Tafsir? No problem, but you like no, tafsir, no, 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 wait, wait. Let's read, let's, let's deal with the Quran first oh, and we I can see. go with so the Tafsir. Whenever you want to go, no, to, we the tafsir, can go, to, go to the Tafsir, tafsir yeah. we can so go there. When, let's when, finish this when the Quran is clear, but yet you want to go to Ibn Abbas earlier. No, we when, can't. I never said we, do, we, do, we don't go to the Tafsir. We'll go to the Tafsir. Yeah. But it's very clear from what it says. No, it's clear to me, but it's, somehow it's not clear to you. Clear that, to me is this. Allah says, yeah. how can they stand, they have any ground if they do not follow 
Torah and in the Jeel and what was revealed in it from God. No, that's not what it says. Yes, that's it says, you do not stand on, on unless, anything unless. until you observe the Torah, which you say is corrupted, and the Injil. Your God has given me... Read your commentary, read the words. No, until you observe the Torah and the Injil. Keep reading, keep reading. And what was sent down to you from your Lord. Thank you very much. Okay, so are they together? Are they together? The Torah, the Injil, and what was sent down to you from your Lord. Are they together? That's one, one sentence. So if I don't, exactly. So if I don't observe it, I don't have anything to stand on. So you're telling me it's corrupted. I have to observe something that's corrupted. No, no, no. You, you're missing one very important point. Okay. Surah Maida is one of the last surahs of the Quran. Yeah? Surah 9, Surah Maida. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Before that, chapter 2 already came. Chapter 2, verse 75 to 79, which mentions they have corrupted it with their own hands and this is, this is from God. And before that... But that's not the Torah and the Angel. That's what you're making that yeah, up. Yes, commentators are telling this, no. is, the, this is the Torah. No, you never read this, that. This, no, this is the whole context. You read the 30 or 40 verses. It's talking about children of Israel. It's all about children of Israel, that the, the, the Surah Bakra. And then it's telling you earlier verses, chapter 5, verse 13 and 14. Jews have distorted and forgotten the portion of it. Verse 13. Verse 14 says the Christians have forgotten the portion of it. Book no. of Allah. <laughs> the words of Allah, yeah? Yes. That's been because corrupted. they were charged. Okay. Allah has never taken responsibility of preserving the Torah and Injil like He took the responsibility about when the Torah. He gave the responsibility to the rabbis. Yes, and they the have book of the, to preserve the book yeah, of yeah. Allah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Same way, like God. They failed. Same way. Yeah, he, humans fail. That's why. No, 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 no. They failed. They failed. They, they failed. They failed. Yeah. So when they failed, yeah. does that mean the book failed? That means there's corruption added in there. The corruption they, yeah. in the book of Allah. Yes, they have done it. Yes. And so what? what so how, the, how can I stand on something that's corrupt? If Adam was given responsibility and uh, don't go to that. No, 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 no. I understand the that. People fail. Okay. I, no, fail. I understand that. How can I stand on something that is corrupted? No, you can't. Well, well, when the, the verse was revealed, the Quran is already there. The verse been revealed, the Quran is already there. Now. We see the, the context telling us the Quran is the Muhammad and it's telling to everybody Quran. So go back to your book and follow what was revealed by Allah. And now, how are they going to follow the word of Allah? Because they have a prophet among them. Prophet is there. Prophet will tell them what is from God and what is not from God. It's not talking about like just go by, by yourself. It's the, the prophet is guiding them. And their Torah and Injil is prophesizing about this prophet as well. So if this if it's a guardian over the the book, the Quran is, yeah? How can it be a guardian over a book that's corrupted? I tell you why. It will sift out all the bad and confirm the right. So when it confirms the right. That's not what the Quran yeah. says. The Quran is saying the Quran is saying it's the guardian over it. Yeah? It's not sifting out anything. It's saying it confirms what came before it. You don't confirm corruption. That's it. That's what it is. So, no, is the Quran corrupted? No, no, confirm means is the Quran corrupted. Like, confirm means now if you bring the Torah right now and if you read the story of Noah, Quran will confirm. Because Quran has this story in there. Okay. The Quran confirms this is the story. But oh, no, it says all the scriptures. No, 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 no. no. That's what I read no, to no, you no. earlier That's on. That's what it says. When all it... the scriptures. No, no. What do you mean all the scriptures? Torah, Injil, Zabur, and and all the other scriptures. It confirms it. It came to confirm it. What was revealed by from God? Okay. You adding so, you adding something into it. So no, I'm not adding anything. When it confirms it. It cannot confirm. If you're saying the Torah is corrupted, and the Quran is confirming it, the Quran is corrupted. You only confirm what was you before. You're going back to the verse. We already forgot what the word verse was. It's very important when you talk about the verse in less front, uh, put right in front That's of right. it. That's right here. No, I'm talking about 48. Yeah. Talking we about sent 48. down to you the book with the truth, confirming what was before it of the book and as a guardian over it. So judge between them by Allah, by what Allah sent down and do not follow the desires against the truth. Yeah. And we reveal the book to you with truth confirming whatever of the book. Exactly. 
was revealed before. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the important point here. What he said, what was revealed before? Mean anything revealed before in there? The revelation is the one Allah confirming, not addition by people. If people are adding it, that's not revelation. That's a contradiction no, no, in the no, Quran. No, no, that is. How is the contradiction? Because it's it's a guardian over the book on the revelation. No, no, no. It's a guardian over the book. It doesn't say revelation. It's right over it's, the book. It says revealed. Book yeah. was revealed before. The Torah and the Injil. Revealed. The word here is revealed. Okay, revealed. The word revealed means. Okay, revealed. revealed, revealed. Comes from God. It comes from yeah. God. But, but that same book has been corrupted. That yeah. same book has been corrupted. Because Allah is telling you there are and, words have been added. So how can the Quran be a guardian of it when it's corrupted? No, 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 and you're saying it sifts out no, what's no, right. No, it sifts out. No, it sifts out what you're comfortable with and what you're uncomfortable. Quran with. is a guardian over the revelation in it. That's what what is revealed in it. That's what the Quran is guarding. The Quran is going to guard that the the, the, the the Lord, the city of Lord, will destroy it. But Quran is not confirming that Lord slept with his daughters. Okay, Quran so never confirms that the the, the uh, Lord sleeping with his daughters. So that is not from God. But the other story is from God. So the, this, the one this, sleeping with his daughters? Lot, Prophet Lot. But you don't think he's a uh, prophet. He slept with his two daughters, didn't he? Okay, but well, well, Quran well, well. never confirms that. Okay. Okay. But Bible says that but it is. How it is. can you say Quran never confirms that when there is no explicit verse that Quran condemns that? Yeah, because Quran, the story is not in the Quran. We can we cannot accept it. But that. does it condemn we can, it? We cannot accept it. Does it condemn it? You're, you're arguing from silence now. Because the Quran does not condemn it. So well, how can you say it's actually what, what we saying, it? We, we're we saying that prophets do not do that. Prophets don't sleep. Yeah, with but the, the Quran is not condemning. Prophets it. don't sleep with the daughters. It's just like no, no normal person. Don't go do. there. Don't no, go there. Even the don't go there. The Muhammad no, did something going, worse. I am so going don't there. go there. Prophet, he did something worse. I'm, I'm, sleeping with Aisha. I'm saying that again. Nine-year-old girl. Prophets don't go there. Don't sleep with even the decent person. Do not sleep with their daughters. Okay, so, so Muhammad sleep with a nine-year-old. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Decent. Hang on a minute. <laughs> so you are saying the Lord slept with the daughter, and that's okay. We saying I that never said it's okay. God is not okay with so it. So how can it be okay for the Quran if it's not okay for you? It's not be okay for the Quran. No, no. I'm saying to you that the Quran does not even mention it. You're arguing from silence, saying we can. The Quran doesn't yeah, say it, so I'm it not, condemns I'm it. Not asking only, uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm not talking from the side. I'm not talking from the, even the common sense as well. Common, uh, sorry, you would call it um, moral, morality as well. I'm talking about the. Is, so you is, should is, condemn is, Muhammad. Is the morality. No. If you're talking about morality. You condemn Muhammad. No, no. no. And but then let's also, go back to the topic. Yeah. Also, the story of Solomon. Solomon has uh, worshipped the idols. Quran say he did not. Quran, so Quran contradicts Quran, Quran, Quran contradicts Quran itself. rejected it, meaning Quran is not saying this is from God. Solomon never done that. The Bible says that he does that. Mm. So, and and you know no, no, what? But that's Allah's word. What, <laughs> what is Allah's word? All other scriptures, Torah, Injil, and uh, the book, yeah, and all the other scriptures. You're missing the point. That that's what the Quran Allah's is saying. Allah's word is the revelation, not the human being's word. Okay, do you have the original book? To talk like this, you must have the original book. Quran to is... To say it's been changed. Quran, what? No. The, the Allah's words are in the Torah and Injil. There are, but not all of them. Not okay, all of them. to say not anything all of them. Anything goes with the Quran is from Allah. Anything goes against the Quran is definitely the from Quran Allah. The Quran doesn't say that though. You're well, saying that. Mahimin is that. If, no, if no, 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 no. Mahim, Mahimin doesn't say if it contradicts it, then you leave it. Mahimin says it's guarding over it. No, no. That's it's a, if it's guarding it it's, and the Torah is it, corrupted, it, the Quran failed. Do you know? We need to wrap up. Quran, we need to wrap up. Because Quran, we're getting yeah, around. Quran is Al-Furqan. Another word is Al Furqan. Oh. Al Furqan is the criterion. Well, let's go for it. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a yardstick. Yeah, it, it measures it. So anything goes against the Furqan, the yardstick, you cannot, that cannot be the word of God according to the Quran. So when the word is used about the Quran, this is how we understand this is the Quran is a yardstick. And I wanted to say something else as well, but, but I think we got. No, there's, there's, there is a verse that you probably never read in the Quran. Right? It's going to shock you. Hopefully. Actually, I was going to show the, uh, yeah. the lie of the Jesus, uh, sin of the Jesus. After this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to do this. Brother want to know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to okay. do this. Surah 46, because Ayatollah. Because you always like to talk about Islam, Islam, Islam. I think it's no, 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 we're going to do it. That I will challenge you as well. No, yeah, yeah, of course yeah. you can, yeah. Surah 46, Ayah 12. Yet, before it, the book of Moses was a guide and a mercy. And this book, which confirms it in the Arabic language, to warn those who do wrong and is a bearer of good news and the virtues. You never read that verse in the Quran, have you? 
Surah 46. The book was revealed to Moses. Ayah 12. As a guide and a mercy. I read this verse. It was revealed. Which confirms as a guide of mercy, this and it confirms in the Arabic yeah. language. Yeah. It doesn't it is, say it, it doesn't say it's got contradiction. It has problems in there. It sits it again, out. Again, it say that. again, this very important word you're missing out. <coughs> Allah say, <coughs> yet before this, the book was revealed to Moses as a guide and mercy. So this book, Quran, which confirms, confirms it in okay. the Arabic language. Well, what is it confirming? It the revelation of God. So we Muslims never saying what is revealed from God. We are not confirmed. We are not agreeing with that. Okay, but, but it's a revelation. Bible, it's, it's, Bible, it's a revelation. The Bible, book. chapter two, verse seventy-nine, already tell, told us. Bible. They have, in the Bible. In the sorry, Quran. <laughs> you really want to come back yeah, to the Bible? Yeah. I understand. And Jesus is Lord. No, we are talking about Bible. No, say, revelation two. means book. Yeah. yeah. No, no, revelation. Re revelation means something come from God, revealed. Yeah. Not so, added. Not corruption. Not but a that, word of man. That's what your word, words. Allah never say word of a man is a revelation. revelation no, say it's here. Definition meaning something the book of from Moses, God. Yeah, the book of Moses was a guide and a mercy. Revealed. No, wait, wait, wait. Come down. The book of Moses was a guide and a mercy. Yeah. It doesn't say revealed. Uh, hang up before. And that. this book. The book was revealed to Moses. And this as book. A guide and a mercy. No, yet before it, the book of Moses. Okay, different translations. So I don't know how many Quran. Okay. How many Qurans do you have now? That's the no, no, question. No. Yeah. <laughs> and this book, which is the Quran, confirms in the Arabic language. Okay. Musaddikan, yeah. Okay. So the, this book, which confirms it, confirms yeah. it, yeah. In the Arabic language. So the Quran it confirms in the not, Arabic language. We are not saying Quran is not confirming what was came to Moses. You cannot confirm but Quran, something that's corrupted. Unless the Quran itself is corrupted. Okay, how, okay. You can confirm something that's corrupted. Okay, okay, okay. Let's say. But you have to say the Quran let's, is corrupted. Let's say, for example, I write a letter to somebody, yeah? As I send a letter. And that letter somehow has been mixed with other people have added into it. They're saying this is my, my words, but they add their own words into it to deceive people. I sent another person another letter. The original one supposed to be the original, and I send it, and I said this my letter will confirm what I reveal in that letter. So whatever in this one, you match with the old one, is from me. Anything which is, doesn't match is not from me. This is the situation when the Quran came, chapter two, verse seventy-five to seventy-nine, telling us they write with their own hand, and they say from God. Then chapter five, verse thirteen and fourteen is also telling us. They have forgotten and they distorted it. And the Quran confirming what is revealed from God. And this is the Muhammad. This is the guard over it. So the Quran is guarding what was revealed originally. Okay, on did, face, did, on, did, did I understand. On face value, you look so right. But when you go deeper, it does not mention about the Torah and the Injil. Something being added in the Torah and the Injil. Five was 13, 14. No, it does not talk about the Torah and the Injil. Nothing is added, nothing is taken. Oh, no Torah, no Injil yeah, okay. is talking about okay, that. Okay, last point, we're going to make that before I come. Last through. point and then we'll wrap up. Okay. Chapter 5, verse 13. Look what it says. Yep. If you read verse 12, it's talking about children of Israel. I'm not talking about children of Israel has nothing to do with the Torah and the Injil. It has nothing to do what with children that. Of Israel for? They believed in the Babylonian Talmud as well. So you 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 argue from silence. Allah, okay, show me anyway. Allah is talking about Babylonian Talmud about when when he talk about children of Israel or the Jews. Ever Allah talking about the Babylonian Talmud? Allah didn't know everything, I guess. Oh, I see. You're right. Yeah, it's so, true because the Jews do, do believe in the Babylonian yeah. Talmud. So Allah, whenever Allah address children of Israel yeah. and Jews and Christians, whenever He uh, ascribe any book, that's Torah and Injil and Psalms, nothing else. Allah never. Injil is Christians. I said Jews and Christians. Yeah. And Allah always okay, talk about Jews, Jews and Christians. And Christians yeah. He never talk about anything else but but talk about the Injil and the Torah. Okay. So and the Zabur. So are so, you saying here uh, when it talks about the Israelites in Surah 5, 13 to fifteen? Yeah. It's not talking about Injil. It's just the Torah. It's talking about the, yes. Verse so Injil is not corrupted. No, no, verse fourteen. Then. Verse fourteen is for Christians. That's why you know you. you okay. Know verse English. verse fourteen for Christians. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Also from those uh, who say we are Christians, yes, right. we took their pledge, but they forgot a part of what they were reminded. That's right, yes. Sir. They forgot. That's right, yes. They didn't corrupt it. What do you mean that's right? You don't, you don't pay attention to what I'm saying to you. I say, verse 13, say, 
distorted and corrupted. They distorted and forgotten Jews. They forgot and they distort. But verse 14. No, it doesn't say that. Let's read it. Then because of their, uh, their breaking their covenant, we cursed them and made their hearts hard. Gotten apart. What, 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 I'm reading Ayah 13. What translation are you reading? Look. There's only one Quran. I thought there was no, only no, one Translations Quran. are different, isn't it? Ah. Translation cho choice of word. Ah, it said, and context and thus distort their meaning and have forgotten a good portion of the teaching. Okay. Yeah. So distort they, so they distort their meaning, yeah? Yeah. So you must have the original to say this is this is this is distorted. You must have the original. To know that something is distorted, you must have the original to compare it with. Just the way you talked about the letter. The letter you're sending, yeah. the only way you know someone has added things into it, yeah. you have the original. So you must have the original in Jail and Torah to know that this has been dis no, this is distorted. Do you have and that? And we are not saying there is no original still not in Torah. Do you have that? We, we, anything going with the Quran is original. No, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, that's, no, no, no. That's exactly. A compound, man. No, it's not. not only that, okay, your, Bible, we'll your Bible confirms that. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8 confirms Jeremiah that as well. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8. And even Jesus about... confirms that as well. Okay, so, so, shall we move on? Yeah, Yeah. Jesus also uh, confirms that. Let, let, me, let me just pick this up. Yeah? Let me just pick this up. Okay. But we're, we'll we're wrap up soon. Yeah, I just need some. Okay, okay so. Um, we, yeah, you wrap up. You, you wrap up. You wrap up this so, and so the the According to even New Testament, Jesus also confirms that the, the, the word of God has been voided. Are, are we moving to that one now? Yeah? Are we moving to that one now? I thought we oh, no conclusion. No, okay. like, we okay, just, we talk about Jesus. Conclude. Now. I conclude. Yeah, I and then I, we talk I, about according it. to Jeremiah, the people have changed. The, no, I mean, conclude the whole debate. We, just two minutes. What we want to talk about? Conclude the whole debate. What we just did. Yeah. I will conclude. Yeah. And then we so you challenge the me on the Jesus. I, point I was making that your Bible has been corrupted. Quran yeah. only confirmed what is the revelation. And I was gonna say that in your even your Bible, chapter, Jeremiah chapter eight, verse eight, he also says the pen of the scribes has changed the word of God. How can you say it's been preserved the law? So he's confirming. And also Jesus, I'm gonna read what Jesus says in Mark. Chapter seven. No, 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 wait, wait. You, 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 you've just finished that. Are you going to have another topic? I'm saying it's not being preserved. Your book is not being preserved. So I'm saying that Jesus said that. Well. Are you talking about Jesus lying? No, that's our oh, okay. This is my conclusion. No, no, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. But Jesus also said, that's making void the word of God through your tradition, which you hand on, and many such things you do. Your Bible is confirming even Jesus saying the word of God has been voided. You no, say, no, that's how, not what he says. How come the word of God can be changed? So Jesus says you have been changed the word of God. That's not what he says. Jeremiah says that. And what Quran says, let's see when the Quran make a claim they has changed the word of God. Open the Bible yourself and you find contradiction after contradiction, error after error. And that's the topic I can talk to you some other day. But 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 but, but the, if you see the evidence in your hand right now, there are contradictions. Biblical scholars are telling us the yeah. Bible is not being preserved. Yeah. There are there are additions in them, there are errors in them. The story of a adulterous woman was not supposed to be in the it was not in the original one. Last twelve verses of Mark is not there. So it means Quran came and telling us and centuries later we found. That's true what Quran says. So that's the word of God. It's Abbas, true. Abbas, you need to come to Jesus. Jesus is saying you're making the word of God of no effect. Jesus never said you've changed the word of God. They make it of no effect. Jeremiah 8.8 8 is talking about their people and not about the book. And if you're saying the Torah and the Angel is corrupted, you must have the original to compare the corruption with. If you don't have the original, you can't say it's corrupted. And don't do a cop out saying, oh, it's the Quran. If the Quran disagrees with it, then that's it. So you don't have the original Torah and the Angel. So I'm saying we don't have any problems in the Quran, in the Torah and the Angel story. We have problems in the Quran. That's why we're saying come to Jesus. God bless you. Can I say about next episode? The lie, the lie of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Next one, yeah. Just stop this one. Another thing is. Go on. My question to you is that uh, Jesus, um, if you, I mean, if you believe he's God, he's sinless. You made a claim that he's sinless. And we, I say, yes, he's sinless. As a Muslim, I believe he's sinless, no problem. But if you say Bible is the word of God, then according to Bible, I can prove it to you. According to Bible, Jesus is 
not sinless. Okay, go on. Meaning, if you, I can prove it to you that Jesus tell a lie, then of course lie is a sin, and Jesus is not sinless. Now, why I say this? Jesus, in Gospel according to John, chapter 3, verse 13, made a claim. And he said, no one has ascended into heaven, but he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. Meaning it's only Son of Man who's going to ascend to heaven. No one else, only the Son of Man. Am I right in making this claim? <coughs> John chapter you 18, you said. Chapter 3, verse 13. Okay. You can answer me yes or no in this. Am I right to assert that this is what, uh, to understand that this is what the verse is saying? That no one has ascended into heaven but the Son of Man. Am I right in understanding that? Am I wrong? What do you mean? Are you asking? I thought you were making a statement. No, but I'm asking you one question, yes or no. Oh, what, is your, what is your question? The, the word says, no one has ascended into heaven but he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. Am I right in understanding? No one has ascended into heaven, heaven but he, but he who, who came down from heaven, the Son of Man. Okay. Am I right in understanding that Jesus says, no one has ascended into heaven but me? Am I right in understanding that? Mm, maybe, but make your maybe, full point. You maybe. No, make your yeah, full point either, either first. Yes or either no. No, no, make okay. your full point so first. my understanding, that's what Jesus is saying. Jesus is saying this, me, I am the one who's going to ascend to heaven. No, but no one else. Mm. But that kind of a contradict with the... Second Kings chapter 2 verse 11. Now we go to Second Kings chapter 2 verse 11. Chapter 2. Chapter 2 verse 11. It's a story about, about Elijah. And Elijah is also there. And then he says... Yeah. Right, and as um, uh, Second Kings chapter 2 verse 11 I'm reading, and as they still went on and talked, behold a chariot of fire and horses of fire separated the two of them, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind, whirlwind into heaven, meaning Elijah was ascended into heaven. Yeah. But Jesus here is saying, no one has ascended into heaven but the Son of Man. Okay. Isn't this the contradiction? No. And if that will happen, why is Jesus telling something which is not true? Okay, so the context of uh, John chapter 3 is what you've ignored to read. Mm -hmm. So I'll read it from... Uh, I mean, John chapter 3 is about a, a guy, a Jewish guy coming to Jesus, asking him about certain things. Like... Um, we're going to read it here, yeah? Nicodemus, yeah. Nicodemus, yeah. Or oh, Nikki, his name is. <laughs> so, Rabbi, we know that you're a teacher from God, for no one does these signs unless God is with him. That's, uh, uh, that's verse 2, yeah? And Jesus goes on to, to explain to him that if you're not born again, you will not enter the kingdom of God. I'll read it from verse 10. Jesus answered and said to him, Are you a teacher of Israel and do not know these things? Most assuredly, I say to you, we speak what we know and testify what we have seen. And you do not receive our witness. If I have told you earthly things, you do not believe. How will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended to heaven, but he who came down from heaven, that is the Son of Man, who is in heaven. And Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man lifted up lifted him up that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life and then he goes on to say that he uh, gives eternal life yeah so he's talking about a relationship with the father ascending into heaven elijah is not like jesus yeah elijah went up to heaven but he didn't ascend like the son of man it's a different kind of ascending he didn't it's say a it. relationship with the, no one has ascended to heaven, but he who came down from it, that is the Son of Man, who is in heaven. Yeah? Uh, that verse didn't say who is in heaven. 
Yeah, yeah verse 13 says yeah, that, yes. It doesn't say who's in heaven. Yeah, it does, right what, here. What, what is that? What, what version are you reading? Uh, I'm reading uh, New King James Version. New King James Version. The one you like. R RSV Version doesn't say that. The one you like. Can we go to the original one? New King James is better than RSV. No, no, we can go to the original one, like uh, like um, uh, Greek. Inter interlinear, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Because you are adding a word into it. Okay. No one has ascended to heaven, but he who came down from heaven. I'm, I'm not adding any word. I'm reading what the New no, King the last, James says. Last bit. No, that is the Son of Man who is right. in heaven. There is no who is in heaven. This is the from the Greek. No one has ascended into heaven except the one who has descended from heaven, the Son of Man. Wait, click wait. B, click B. Okay. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, hang on. Where are you going? Click B. Click B. Click that. B. We go to the original Greek. How about we go? Oh, you didn't go there. I did press it, but I don't think it comes up. But we can go back again. So now the last last bit was, who is what? In heaven. The Son of Man who is in heaven. Come down from the Son of Man. Okay. There. Who is in heaven? There. Okay. In the That's in the original. That. So RSV doesn't have that. No, it doesn't. Okay. That that doesn't change the fact anyway. He said no one has ascended into heaven, but the one who came down, the Son of Man, who is in heaven. So, so no one has ascended into heaven, yeah. but Elijah did. Elijah ascended into heaven, yes. but he did not come down. Nobody says coming down. He said no one has ascended. Into but heaven. he didn't stop there. He said no one has ascended to heaven. But he who came down from heaven, that is the Son of Man who is in heaven. So that he, the Son of Man's ascension is different because he can ascend and descend anytime he wants. Not about it. Elijah was taken up. He ascended. He did ascend. But Jesus is not talking about just ascension. No, no, no. He said, I just read no, it. He said no one has ascended into heaven. Yeah. But he who descended, meaning. No one has ascended into heaven, but the one who descended. So, according the to one you, who came you, down. you refute your own argument. Since Elijah, since Elijah has ascended. Okay, we need to wrap up. Okay, no problem. We can talk about it some other time. Yeah. No problem. So. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Okay. I don't All know right, what no happened. Problem. Yeah. We but can we'll talk. About it next time. No problem. Yeah. You okay. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What happened? Everything okay?